video to show you guys uh, how to reset the VSC light, which is Vehicle Stability Control Light. Mine went on after uh, changing tires, so what you need to do is a zero point calibration. That's pretty much to get the steering wheel centered. So first up is to center the steering wheel, make sure your vehicle is on a flat surface uh, level pretty much, and then you're gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle off. Next thing you need to do is locate the OBD2 connector, you know, where they hook up the scan tools. Um, this is on a 2006 Lexus GS300, and this one is actually located on the driver's side on the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that. All right, so this is a really tight spot to work with, but I'm gonna show you guys the best I can. Um, on the connector, you can see there's four pins on that side. When I say pins, that means the one with the electrical wire inside of it. Um, you're gonna put it on the fourth one down, which is closer to the middle. And then the one directly across from it is the one you're gonna link to. So the fourth one, and then directly across from it, you're gonna use your paper clip and connect those two. Next thing you need to do is get a paper clip. And you're gonna go ahead and put the paper clip in the way I did. Um, you can see it's gonna be the fourth one down and then right across from me you're gonna put another paper clip sorry about the tight spot it's hard to get this video in here but pretty much you can see that there's four connectors um, you're gonna go ahead and put it on the fourth one and then directly across from it you're gonna go ahead and link up the other one right there all right after that you're gonna go ahead and turn the power on on the vehicle and you can see how it's flashing the lights right there you're gonna let that go for about five to ten seconds and it puts it in vsc mode and then you can go ahead and start the vehicle <laughs> All right, so after you start the vehicle and you let it blink for about five to 10 seconds, you can go ahead and shut the vehicle off. And then the next thing you wanna do is remove the paper clips that you installed. Then you're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle and the light should be off. And that should be it. You can go ahead and test drive it to make sure everything's working properly and it doesn't pop back on. Uh, but that should do it if it was just triggered by um, getting tires changed or some kind of work that was done. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment. Don't forget to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.